who's that? Oh, it's my little friend Cupid wearing a shirt that says I'm with stupid. <clears throat> Always nearby wherever I go. He's looking out for me, don't you know? Mr. Excitement, never in a rut. Johnny on the spot with an arrow in the butt. Oh, ouch. Oh, your love is true. Now, if you could only get a clue. Welcome to Nerds Gone Rogue, episode 138. Is that the right number, Corey? Mm-hmm. My name mm-hmm. is Matthew Keel. I'm at infinite underscore rewind on every social media platform. That second voice is Corey Deerig. You can find him at Corey in HD713 on Twitter, Corey in HD everywhere else except PlayStation, where he is the fourth Rogue Spartan. Uh, the two silent people that you don't hear right now. Uh, one of them is the mouth from the south himself, Moose. At Sven Everywhere, how are you, sir? Doing pretty good. What's up, how, people? How is the state of play? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to try. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> and then and then the other and then that 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 sly little laughter you heard was Canadian eye candy himself, Captain Canada, a Nerds That's Gone right. Rogue exclusive. Nerds Gone Rogue exclusive. How are you, sir? I'm excellent. Thank you very much for asking. Awesome. Awesome. Got my soda stream water ready to go. Cool. Nice. So it was a week. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was seven days. It was it was it was a packed to shit week. Uh, yeah. Google, Google decided to enter and either blow your mind or amp up your cynicism. Nintendo decided to vomit out a bunch of indies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sony decided to do a direct. I hung out with Jason Marshall. And we all played more division. What have you guys been playing? Uh, well, I've just been playing division. <laughs> yeah, I've just been playing just That's division. It? That's well, it. Well, I've been playing just other game. games, I guess. So uh, I hopped sorry. in to one other game for like forty-five minutes, and you could probably guess what that is. Yeah, I couldn't even. I I like wanted to bring it up, but I couldn't. Like, Bloodborne. I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Bloodborne. Awesome. Yeah. I already, you already know what it is. Uh, um, I mean, yeah. okay. All, since no one's gonna, no one's gonna fucking say it. Moose played Sekiro for forty-five minutes. Yep. <laughs> okay. I find um, that surprising, to be honest. I thought you would have been all over Sekiro and put uh, Division on the back burner. If you would have asked me three weeks ago, I would have been that. I would have been that way too. But the division is really fun, and that's kind oh, of no, it is really fun. That's kind of how I knew Moose wouldn't put it down because There's I just felt that because of his background with From Software, There's that one would also take. Also, the fact that when you have your foot on your enemy's neck, you got to step down. Mm-hmm. Here's so here's that's the- what we're doing to Jason Marshall. Jeff and I are on this vigilant, epic crusade to crush him in the co-op trophy challenge and he is gonna go 0 and 5 when it comes to division 2 here's the thing guys you do know the, he has three months off right? the real I feel, I the real like reason moose, i feel like moose is doing a wrestling promo right now like an the, re- no, the, the, the real reason moose hasn't started or hasn't played a lot of secure yet is because his secure cosplay hasn't come in That's and he's true. already all That's divisioned true. up right now yeah he's 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 hope county in dc uh, hope county don't translate to secure sir oh, shit. what happened this weekend i think uh, i think it was just the fact that it was the right i don't see any goateed aviated up samurai warriors up there like the the right amount of people were like on like jeff was on so i jumped on with him um Matt, we played what Friday night, or was it Saturday night? Was- uh, we played last night. No, I meant Phillips, but you, you and oh. I played. Oh. Last oh. Night. Yeah, was it Friday? Night. Night. Yeah, it was, it was Friday. Yeah. We did a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, That's I okay. got to start saying infinite in in Philly. But anyways, <laughs> uh, but 
Uh, it was then when you start getting drunk on shows, it'll be in Philly again. <laughs> and then we're going to yeah. be like, what is yeah. he talking to? <laughs> Anyways, it was, uh, I don't know. Division's division. I mean, mm-hmm. it's good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm just trying to get to like level 30. I'm just trying to beat the game right now and then like complete everything. And uh, that's just, that's just the task right now. Yeah, I mean, I do want to play some multiplayer. I just haven't had a chance to do it. So I did some dark zone. I did about two hours of dark zone. Nice. That's how fun. was it? It was great. I uh, met some randoms. Actually, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I matchmaked with some randoms. And, yeah. uh, so the matchmaking is super easy. So I picked a couple guys up and we were doing the, uh, I think I was still in the teens. So probably like 19 or so mm-hmm. did two hours. Um, it was a ton of fun, man. Uh, saw a couple of rogues and I didn't realize stupid me. Like I'm the kind of guy that is the, what does this button do? Okay. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you find, uh, this terminal on the wall and it was like hack SHD shade network. And I was like, all right, no problem. I didn't realize that turns you rogue. <laughs> and um, so... Because you I, found out what that button did. <laughs> I hack it, and like I said to my group, because gr- uh, at least on PC anyways, it has the text chat, and I didn't really feel like saying it to them so they, they could yell at me. So I just typed it. I was like, I'm sorry. I, I fucked up. And uh, so we had to run. They're but, all like, um, fuck it, Leroy. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're rogue, you can open up some chests, and you get loot from it, but it extends your timer. So we didn't get anyone coming after us. Uh, we ran out the timer, no problem. And nice. uh, it was a ton of fun. Um, the dark zone, it's big. It feels bigger anyways. Cause well, there's multiple dark zones too. Yeah. There's four of them, isn't there? So even though the, I was doing the one in the Northeast corner and even that one felt bigger than the dark zone in division one. And that's just one of them. So, uh, I'm really excited to play some more of it. I think I'm probably going to wait till level 30 because um, like it'll scale anyways, but I'd probably rather just be level 30 with my skills and stuff mm-hmm. before I delve back into it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a ton of fun The as it was in Division 1, but I'm excited to play more of it. So is, does, is the Dark Zone kind of, is it similar to Division 1 where there's... There's, there's landmarks. There's landmarks, there's NPCs, yeah. and then yep. um, Extraction. And, and then you can just you could just choose to kill other people or not, right? Yes. And um, at least uh, in Division One, you had to shoot someone to go rogue multiple times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one it said like I got a tool tip and it just said press T to go rogue. And I was like, huh. Like so I don't know if you can just toggle it on and off. Well you or can not. Do- you could go rogue uh, in Division One too. Like you could, ju- you didn't have to shoot somebody. You could just hold a button down and go. Well, I think that was that was added later on. That wasn't was that added later. Okay, it may what? have been put in after yeah. I stopped playing then. Okay, because um, I think it was like up on the D pad or something like that, and mm-hmm. you would go rogue. I don't remember. I never usually went rogue because I find running out the timer very stressful, <laughs> which is supposed to be right. But I like chasing rogues. That's that's more fun. I'm a bounty hunter. <laughs> but um yeah you've still got the same landmarks on the map um i don't know if there's like rotating safe houses or not or if you just discover more as you go mm-hmm. um but uh because we were using the one in the middle and uh everything that we wanted to do was around there and uh i found it much more interesting i'll say like I found the encounters more interesting than they were in Division One, even if even though you're just attacking the regular landmark. As you go further north, same thing; it gets more difficult. Um, but yeah, I, I can't speak too much on it because I only played I think one or two hours of it. But uh, it was a ton of fun, even with randoms. So you know, playing it, I'm gonna look for a guild to join, and um, clan that should a clan. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Plan. Sure maybe you should play. Maybe you should play on PS4 and join the Rogue Platinums. We are up to level two now. I'm going to. I ranked up the clan this weekend. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not even in, clan in the yet. chat. What's up, Deshaun? He asks, "Who's clicking a pen, motherfuckers?" <laughs> he didn't say that. I added the motherfuckers. <laughs> I right. you- well, that's me. I'm sorry. It's my USB stick. 
which I, <laughs> but you're I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Just like I am. And yeah, you know, it's all good. <laughs> I'll be honest, doing this show makes me nervous. So when sometimes I, I need a little bit of a vice. And it's this thing here. It's when like, I get nervous, it's clicky clack, clicky clack. It's <laughs> like it's like Philly's in his own personal dark zone here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you're supposed to branch out and face your fears. Tell us, do that tell make us you how you really feel, Phillips. Tell us how you really feel about this. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, I'll stop clicking my. USB. I pooped without locking the door today, Phillips. That was my getting out there. Add a boy. Have I ever told? Have I ever told you guys the traumatic story about the door open? Yeah. No, like I don't mean like unlocked. I mean the door open, like you're talking. It was to correct. It you're going? Okay. All right. No, I, no, I always close. He's gonna mine. be like he's no, gonna. You're, be, you're he's a gonna, mad. Like you are a mad no. man. You're going to be like Rafi in the league. You're going to be like, I, Riley and I are dumb buddies. <laughs> I close the door, lock it, and then I put a chair up against the door handle so no one can come in. Like, I do not <laughs> like the door open at all. So it, it, have I ever told the traumatic story of why I always lock the bathroom door, even if I'm at home alone on this no. show? No. No. Oh, God. Okay. So when I was like, when I was like, when I was like four or five years old, my, pe- five. <laughs> no, my, we would like, my grandma would always make us go to church and we went to church and after church we went to like Ponderoso, which is like this weird buffet slash steakhouse weird i don't know before. Yeah. yeah yeah so we would always go there and i would always eat like, like corral maybe a little bit more higher tier i, don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't put in, i mean the the tiers are pretty low at this point i wouldn't even is it know nicer would... than outback no god no 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 yeah. uh Anyways, is so Outback we, nice? <laughs> Some of them are. The newer ones are. All right, we're going to do a B-size where we rank restaurants. All right. Okay. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Anyways, let the man tell us. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, so we we went we went to Ponderosa, and I had, to, I had to poop. And it was my it was like the first time my parents ever trusted me to go by myself, right? <laughs> so I went by myself, and I didn't think anything of it. I just went in there. I sat down and pooped. And like while I was in the middle of a poop, some old man came in the bathroom and like didn't know I was in there because the door door was locked or was open. And uh, he started pulling his pants down, almost sat on me and almost pooped on me. And I like screamed. (laughs) And then my cousin had to come in and get me. Oh, that's hilarious. So even when I'm home alone, just so I'm clear, you were sitting on the toilet. Yeah, I was. And an old man, like, did he back in or was he? Yeah, he backed backed in with like a newspaper. (laughs) Like he was going to sit there and and, like stay a while. Is it possible you're embellishing the details of this story? I I am not. You want to? If you ask my cousin, he came in to get me. Would you want to embellish this story? Yeah, would, what, yeah. I think Mandela effect may be play at play in this story. I don't think so. No, dude, dude. It was a Ponderosa <laughs> bathroom. If I, if I wanted to make it sound fancy, I would have said we went. We were at like <laughs> we went to Outback. Yeah, so an old man went to Ponderosa <laughs> with the newspaper. Dude, they did back in the day, man. Backed into yeah. a stall. They don't have cell phones now. They didn't have cell phones. Yeah, there back back in those days, there wasn't Twitter on the shitter films. No, there wasn't. You brought your Archie comic in, and you sat there until the thing was done. Right. Did your business? So your business was done. <laughs> It was a commitment. <laughs> yeah, it was. Now I can play Zelda on the toilet. Hell yeah, you can. Uh, so that was that was my traumatic uh, bathroom story from Ponderosa. <laughs> That's <right. sighs> It was terrifying. <laughs> There's a long time when I wouldn't even go poop in public. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's funny. You know, you're apologizing. That you're like, sorry. Father Phillips and his laugh is so contagious. It's it's the news. It's the fact that he backs into the stall. I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. State of play. All right, now I'm now I'm now I'm calm down. Okay. Now we're back. Yeah. Corey, uh, yeah. Other than the division, what have you played? <laughs> uh, I fi- I finished Gris. Uh, that game, that was a good game. I really enjoyed it. It's uh, it was weird because like there were some points in the game where I was like really enamored by everything, and then there were points where I thought it just dragged too long. 
You know, like there are some points that I just thought like, man, I'm, I'm getting spit out into another section of this game. Cause like, you know, everybody told me it was only like two, three hours long. And I was like, I probably, and then again, I was like exploring the world and just kind of like walking around and checking out everything. But like every time I was, I was way over the three hour mark and I was like, dang, am I, this, I'm getting spit out into a new section. And, but like, I don't know. It was, uh, when I got to the end, I thought the the end was really well done, and I thought the end was very, uh, it was very kind of like an um, emotional and like a it it just I don't know it was it just I just really enjoyed the ending. You know, I don't really want to spoil it for anybody because I think a lot of if you enjoy indies and puzzle platformers, you should probably play this and 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 I say puzzle platform in like the lightest sense of of puzzle, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think it, I thought it was a really, really unique experience, you know, so uh, I finished that and then I started playing Captain Toad again because uh, that DLC came out and I'm like, well, I should probably get far enough so I can play the DLC. So I've been I playing that. To that. So I've been playing that and then I've also been playing Apex and Assassin's Creed also. But Did you uh, try the new character? I did not. I didn't get the battle pass or anything. Yeah. Oh, it's only with the battle pass. I no, the character's by itself. Is it? Uh, the character's know. by itself. Okay. Okay. And apparently, apparently, uh, Apex's battle pass. The reception to it has been very much the reception to state of play. Or put that, like any battle pass. In that, well, no, because I think like with Dota battle passes, like they're pretty good now compared for that community. I don't know what Fortnite. I don't know what I Fortnite think. I think, think for, Fortnite is Fortnite's is usually pretty beefy. I think. <laughs> Well, but usually, I, well, theirs is all um, cosmetic. cosmetic. Stuff. Yeah, also is Apex. Apex is yeah, Apex yeah, is has also. like nothing. The right. thing with the thing with Apex though is like I think it's if you've, their first one. I think yeah, well, they said they came out. They just wanted to make it simple and make sure they got it right and what they were going to take feedback from the uh, the community and and you know that'll affect the next season's battle pass. Uh, but the one cool thing is like you can earn enough uh, currency to mm-hmm. buy the next battle pass for free. So that's kind of cool. That is cool. I like that. Yeah. Well, I think that's how like, uh, paying for a month though, cuz you can do that with World of Warcraft now. Yeah, I was, you can, I uh, think, Yeah, you can earn the currency in game to gold. pay for your subscription. Yeah, you can buy you can buy a, a month with it. Can't you do that in Fortnite as well? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't played Fortnite in forever. I haven't or played yeah, Fortnite since it came to Switch and I played like 10 matches and I was like, "Man, eh, I'm good." Yeah. I remember I bought Fortnite before they'd done the battle royale when it was just the save the world mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought the the pre the early access on PS4 and I really liked that. And as far as I know, they just walked away from it when battle royale got big. I don't know if they've updated it. Recently. They have all the pa- all the patches are tested in the save the world mode before they've de- there's more. There's more content in it now though, or I, I don't know if there's more content. I just know like everything that they. Want to put in a battle royale? They kind of test in a to save the world mode. Oh, okay. The Weezer Island is part of the build your own island thing. Yeah. Oh, Weezer. That classic rock band. Talk about a band that should still be good, just isn't. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I like Green. I mean, Blue and Pinkerton. Blue and Pinkerton are, are are. are are probably their best, and then I still green, like them, yeah. green is is like right below that. Yeah, green's weird. I like it. Pinkerton, yeah, Pinkerton's probably my favorite. Okay. I don't know um, what any of this is. Um, their albums, yeah. For anyone who likes shoegazer rock, <laughs> which Weezer? Yeah, the Weezer's kingdom. not shoegazer. Oh my god, have you ever seen them live? Jeez. That's that's not what shoegaze is though. That's yes, not what shoegaze is. It is not. It is not. It is it is We're gonna have a separate show it is for this. Categorically not what shoegaze <laughs> is. Alright. I've decided I decided what the new podcast is gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna put you two in a corner and I'm gonna be the referee. That's no one right. puts no one I puts already, in the corner. I already came up with a sweet name for it anyway. Okay, okay, well, don't, don't say it out, out loud. We got we got to say. Oh no, we got a trademark. I already told. First. I already told Matt. Oh, uh, okay. nice. Did you? Yeah, you said that's a pretty good one, and you laughed. It's but oh, is, yeah, it, oh, is it the one? Is it the play on words? Kinda. Hmm. No, it's uh, 
I'll just say it because I know you guys aren't going to use it, but it's anyway. So I ripped off the sketch artist. Uh, okay. Yes. Team, yes. Yes. Team. We know it. Yes. I know it. I know it. You don't have to say it. it who's going to steal this? Someone with our names. And how, how, how common of a last name is Keel? <laughs> Matt, is your sister going to start a I music mean, show? It is a city in, nor- in northern Germany. So. <laughs> I quit. I give up. <laughs> I, I thought it was a pretty good name. It's a good name. I know what it is. It's a good I don't. Name. I don't remember it. Just put it in our little side chat here. Yeah. But that requires me to type stuff in. Okay, then. Then tell me later. Um, <clears throat> Weezer's not shoot case. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm stuck on that now. It's, <laughs> thanks, Phillips. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I've got a I've got a moose soundboard ready to go anytime. <laughs> moose, moose, can you buy a referee T-shirt and just ref the the podcast? It'll be like a a, a debate podcast. I could do that, and I can mute people. Like, and, and, and oh I yeah, host. it's like, going to be louder, louder with Crowder without problematic assholery. <laughs> 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 Um, if I can just see the first time. Weezer is shoegazy. Change my mind. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen them live? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to troll a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I did that because I saw them live because I was like, why did I pay money for this? Oh, um, yeah. No, it, it's a, it's a, you should just listen to it, to the album. I saw, I saw them live too. It was like right after the Green album came out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I saw him. I saw I saw him at a festival. Did they do Did they do Lollapalooza or Warp Tour at any point? I'm sure they, they did at point in their life. Because like I'm pretty sure I saw them in the '90s at some point. Um, so uh, have you played anything else other than Gris, Corey? Uh, I mean, I played Apex and Assassin's Creed, and uh, I kind of took on some other projects this week i haven't really played a lot of games uh, now, I've been... Desha- deshaun in the chat says tell them what happened this weekend what happened this, what happened what this happened weekend, this weekend? <laughs> oh so my wife and i rented uh the s- second new harry potter movie whatever that's called harry potter and the oh, crimes the, of, the, the, the crimes of fantastic beasts or whatever yeah thing. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so i went Whatever. Yeah. Crimes of Grindelwald, man. Okay. Sorry. I'm not no, a I'm not a Potter nerd. No, you're Potter. He's not a Potter head. God. <laughs> you're welcome. Good one. You're welcome. Uh, and I was at the Giant Eagle returning the movie, and this guy turns around and it's Deshaun because he's also returning a movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, 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 okay. did, was he just like Corey? Like, like, how did, how did, no. like, he's like, no. He was just like, hey, yo. I'm like, yo. And I was like wow. trying to figure out who it was. I like, apologize I, for that in, that in, impersonation. <laughs> that impression. That was. No, I was I was trying to figure out who it was because the only way I know Deshaun is like through the chat and his like weird ice cube pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, he's like, he's like, it's me, Deshaun. I'm like, oh, hey, dude. Did you say what's up, my white brethren? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that's the security check. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, did, you was, did you do this? Did you do this? Actually, he did do that. Awesome. <laughs> No, when when he well, when he no show. when he when he walked away, he was like, he was like, "See you Monday, my dude," and he went like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! That was, that's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. And I, I wanted I wanted to take like a selfie, but I didn't have my phone. It was in the car. I left him in the car because I was. Well, just, why didn't you say, "Hey, I'm gonna go get my phone"? I didn't know if he was busy or not. That's that's fair. That's I don't fair. like that. Like, you know, right? yeah, yeah. That that is that is a podcaster respecting his listeners' time. 
I no, I agree. I agree completely. I agree completely. I like that. Um, that's uh, awesome that you met Deshaun. That was cool, I know. It was weird. I like I knew he lived in like the area, but I didn't know he like lived in the area. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't I had no clue he lived. <laughs> Oh, we killed Moose. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> we killed Moose. <laughs> For anyone listening, this is basically what it's like anytime we're in a PSN party, like playing a game. Like we this is why we always of, die in Hell Divers. We did a year of Hell Divers just like this. Yeah. The, this is this is essentially what it is. And there's alcohol involved usually when we. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he can't. He can't, that makes it rough. He can't hell dive dry. Um, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no. Uh, but so, what, was I, what was I saying before that? Oh, I, I, been taking on a couple of new projects because, you know, I don't have enough to do in my life. So what are you I doing now, Corey. No, I'm. What are you I'm, doing? No, I'm trying Corey. to. I'm trying to get back Corey. into like art stuff. Okay. And I'm trying. I'm trying to I'm trying to find like a way to incorporate like stuff that like I like and see if I can do like kids versions of it for for Riley's room. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's like awesome. but what I want to do is like you know, I had this idea before she was born and I didn't really like the idea we were going with at one point and then I just kind of like let it go cuz I was doing a bunch of other stuff, but like I want to take like cool like kind of nerdy girl characters and kind of make like kid versions of them for her room like uh-huh. do like do like a uh, princess leia and like a uh, aloy and uh lara croft and <clears throat> sam is great disney stuff like that uh-huh. kind of stuff and just do like either drawings or paintings or something which That's era awesome. lara croft you're gonna do that's what? the real question. Which what? era of Lara Croft are you going to do? Oh, the newest era. I'm not going to. Oh, I thought he'd do with the with the boobs were pointy. With I didn't say I was, I didn't say I was going to do origami with the oh, pointy boobs. In the area. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. That would be funny. <laughs> no, but we live in the area. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, at some point we have to ask, what area are you referring to? Oh, <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want the oh, answer God. to, Matt. This is true. This is true. Matt was like, I don't know. You were last night when we were playing the division with, with Alan. Mm-hmm. I was just like making a whole bunch of dumb jokes. Oh God, what the fuck were you on last night, Corey? Uh, I don't know. I was just like, I was in a good mood. I was like, just playing who, games. Like someone gave Corey a roofie and he just started making terrible, terrible jokes. And like Alan and I are sitting there going, uh, what? What? All I said is no doubt pull out. I <laughs> you were saying some problematic shit too. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't. I, it was all in the area. <laughs> oh my word! So, uh, I just said, "Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool." That's true. You were they all that. jokes? Were they all jokes about pulling out? There yeah, were essentially. <laughs> yeah. Don't be. A, don't be a dummy. Finish on her tummy. Yeah, that, that was great. It was so weird. I don't think I've ever heard that one. It was I don't think so I've weird. ever heard that one. Oh, God. Oh, wow. You didn't grow oh, up in the Midwest, man. I heard that in the 90s. Hmm. Uh, there was so a few the, other, there was is a few other ones. Is tournament so, popular down there right now? Someone yeah, the NCAA tournament. NCAA, yeah. Somewhere it, it is. is. Yeah. Not in this yeah. household. It's not pop- you don't like basketball, but you like basketball. I love basketball, but no, I don't. Right I need to check my I don't. I, need to check. I just haven't. How's your bracket doing, Q? <laughs> Pretty bad, actually. I don't even have a bracket, so I can't. I'm 100 percent right now. So, well, Michigan were winning that game that I watched the other night. Did yeah, they, they won it by like it. It was I mean, like I guess digits. we're doing a we're doing a pool at work, and I'm 17th out of 90 people. So that's not bad. That's it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, like not bad at all. 
So I, I don't know if that's going to, I don't know if that there's a, I haven't looked at it to see if there's a possibility of that going up or down, uh, probably going down definitely. But, uh, but yeah, who knows? I don't follow, I don't follow sports enough to really pick other, any sort other of than authority. soccer. I don't follow that as much as I used to. Oh, you um, don't. Oh, okay. No, no. Didn't you used to get up early on Saturdays to watch? Yep. Yeah. I used to, I used to, I used to get up at like, in the morning and I would go to Fado in Philly and basically stay there all day. Um, Deshaun in the chat says, sounds like Corey didn't take his own advice. He huh? didn't. He's try- he was trying to warn people basically. About what? What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing. Under tummy. Ah, yes. Oh, shit, man. Brought that back. Okay, so I've played some other games other than the other than the division. <laughs> um, I played I played Binding of Isaac as always. Uh, I I've unlocked a whole bunch of things on Switch, and it's making me think I should probably be getting trophies on PS4. But the division's on PS4, so I'm doing it on Switch. Um, I started this new game. Uh, Baba is you. And it sounds like a Matt game. It's got really good reviews, actually. It's it's fucking cool, man. It, this might be the best puzzle game since The Witness. Um, it is uh, it is com- it is basically like programming. Um, it's a it's a puzzle game where you can kind of set the rules every time. So um, the way each thing starts, it'll there on the screen there were there will be written Baba is you. And uh, it will usually like wall is stop, flag is win. Um, now Baba is this little sheep looking thing, which is probably why they call it Baba, that you can move around. Um, you, but you can only move it around when Baba is you. <clears throat> but um, the text is written, uh, it's all tile based, so you're kind of like moving around tiles. Um, but the text where the rules are written are tiles as well. So you can push the words around to change the rules. So like there, so like, let's say there's uh, a puzzle where you see Baba on the outside of the wall, that's a square and the flag on the inside, you can change um, Baba is you to wall is you. And then you can touch, you can move the wall around at this point. And if you touch the wall to the flag and flag is win, you win. Like that's the that's the best way I can explain it. But like each each puzzle is is way different, and it messes with logic in really cool ways. Um, I was listening to uh, le- the last live podcast, and Kenny said like it's basically programming. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I've seen a bunch it's of getting posts. exceptionally good reviews. Yeah. Like on Steam, it's got seven hundred views on Steam, ninety nine percent positive. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's a it's it's it gets it's really good. It gets really difficult. And it'll make you feel completely stupid and completely genius at the same time. Um, it's it's a it's a really fun game on on Switch as well as I think it's only on PC. It's not on PS4. Yeah, for right now it is. Switch, Windows, Linux, and Mac. Um, I mean, and this game has the aesthetics of something of an old Nintendo game. Like it is not intensive in any way, no. but uh, the, but like. If you have 15 bucks, it's worth it. It's fun. it is worth it. These are the kinds of games that I love to see, like because these kinds of games would not exist if it weren't for indie developers, right? Um, and it, you know, as much as I like an indie, like a No Man's Sky kind of thing, or mm-hmm. uh, some of the bigger kind of double A or whatever you want to call them, it's these Triple kinds I. of games. Yeah, it's like it's <laughs> these kind of games that really made me love the indie sector. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just I love stuff like that, and uh, I love stuff like Mike Bithell's work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoy it too. Like, yeah, you just don't get that from a AAA developer. That reminds me, his t- two most recent games I think are on Switch too. Uh, Subsurface, yeah. Subsurface, Circular. yeah, that's a good and game. Then, I really like that. Yeah, one. that was one of you. That was on your top ten list the year. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It's just like you just <laughs> you're just sitting on a subway, and uh, you're just talking to people basically, and you just have to figure out this kind of mystery mm-hmm. and um it's very short it's a couple hours long 
five dollars. I think it was five dollars. Might be less. I think uh, that's what it initially reset. I don't know what it, what it is on Switch. I think yeah. it's on Switch. I'm, so. I, I'm almost positive it is. And then he did one it's after not that. To me. <clears throat> I'm almost positive it is. Um, and then he has one after that same kind of thing, but I have not played that one yet. But that's a really fun game if you like. It's almost like a visual novel. Got mm-hmm. like an interactive visual novel, um, but I loved it. It's it's well worth it if you like science fiction and kind of mysteries. Yeah, Biffle's great. Be in future. Biffle's um, like, it's um, subsurface circular. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, and then, I didn't get the circular part. I yeah. thought y'all were. He had a good puzzle game as well. Um, can't remember he, what it's called. He did volume and he volume. did Thomas volume. was alone. Yeah, volume. Mm-hmm. Volume's an easy plat too if you, if you like. Uh, volume's a great. I mean, it's it's a perfect freaking stealth game. Yeah, it's a really good stealth <clears throat> puzzle, game. and uh, it's a it's a fun platinum too. Yeah, um, and then I think that I think that's I I actually uh, oh um, this will lead us into uh, to topics now. Uh, I do want to mention um, the Nindies showcase. I just want to mention it because we have a show called Nintendo Power Block that will cover it in in more severe depth than we will. Uh, I downloaded and played Nuclear Throne. Oh, nice! Um, on um, Switch. On Switch. Nice. Uh, that this the Switch is probably the best place to play roguelikes. If you if you if that's anywhere close, because they have all of the best modern ones, except for like Rogue Legacy. And of of the modern ones, I think that's probably the worst. Uh, they also don't have you know. Oh, I think Rogue games. Legacy is on Switch. Is it? Yeah. Well, then the only one they don't have is Spelunky. Um, and, yeah, because they're getting two. And I think they're going to get two. And they'll probably do one and two at the same time on Switch. Because I know, I know Derek has mentioned several times on Twitter that he wants to bring it to Switch. Um, which, it's, it's a no goddamn brainer. You know what um, else is really good on Switch? Or it's I know it's on Switch, but it's a really good side-scrolling. Is Oli Oli. Mm-hmm. I love those yeah, games. Man. Those, those games are good. Really- so, I, in fact, I only played those games because you told me about them, because you told me they were good. So, you know, that's one of the few games where I've played where because that was a cross by one I had it on PS4 and I liked it better on the Vita. Mm-hmm. I just thought it translated better to a, a handheld than it did my, my TV. But uh, that's another kind of that's my version of a roguelike. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I love those, man. Those are super fun. But uh, Nuclear Throne is it's a top, it's a top down. It's a top-down shoot 'em up. It's very. Ent- I think Enter the Gungeon is probably a more polished Nuclear Throne. Um, it's made by Vlambeer, which is Rami Ismail and JW. They're out of the Netherlands, and they know how to make good games. Um, I know that they're also doing a Vlambeer arcade, which I would like to. I would like to spotlight because uh, mm-hmm. any way you can play this developer's games, you should play them because. They know how to make really good games. They made Luftrauser, Super Crate Box. Luftrauser uh, is fun. Is, um, uh, is Hotline Miami on Switch? It is not. Yeah. Um, I don't think it ever will be. JW, the other guy of Lambier, is actually the, one of the main guys behind Minute from last year. Um, so if, if if you if any of you played Minute, uh, you know that uh-huh. this these guys are these guys have pedigree and they're going places. And plus, Rami is is really is a really great follow on Twitter for game dev stuff. He, he he's a smart individual. Um, but yeah, uh, so check out Nuclear Throne. It's it's worth your time. It's really really fun. Uh, great soundtrack too. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, so going into the Nindies thing. Excuse me for one second. If we, if we have a second of space to fill, I'm going to give a shout out and say happy birthday to Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Is it its 25 birthday? Years, 25th it? birthday. Yeah. Wow. If you have a, if you do have a PC, uh, Morrowind is free today. Oh, the best one. Oh, it's so good. It's the, the best, best one. one. Yeah, it is the best one by far. It's not even close. And I like the other ones. Deshaun Malone says, if y'all ever come to town, I'm buying. Well, apparently Corey's in town, so we just have to come to Ohio. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anytime the next time I'm in the area, 
I'll uh, definitely don't do that, man. <laughs> you can mock Corey. Don't mock Deshaun. I'm mocking Corey. <laughs> Just making sure. I'm mocking Corey. <laughs> I've never even met Deshaun, but I like him already. Um, but I, it's fun to mock Corey. It is. It really is. It is. It is. Well, it's fun to mock any of you guys. It is true. Yeah. I, you know, that that's an observation I had for someone where like, they were like, you know, you guys are really mean to each other. And it's like, that's just how guys are when mm-hmm. they like each other. Like yeah. the meaner you are, the more you like the other person. Oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah. If I, if I, if I get, if I get vicious with any, we're like, the, we're like the, op- we're the complete opposite of women. Women are really nice to each other in front, in front, in front of, of, in front of, front of, of each other. Yeah. Their backs, they're fucking terrible and yeah. treacherous. We're like, Real mean to each other, yeah. There's faces, but but don't, we're allowed to be mean to each other, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Like, <laughs> like if Moose was like, "Man, that Keel's such a piece of shit," and someone else is like, "Yeah, I know, right?" He's like, "Hey, you shut the fuck up." Yeah. <laughs> I'm only allowed to say that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> were so, you going on about the Nindies? I was just gonna say. Uh, I think it's. I think the 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 there are two really good reveals other than the bland beer stuff. Um, probably the biggest one is Cuphead. I mm-hmm. think that'll that'll make the biggest splash on Switch. Uh, I thought that I thought that commercial for it was really good. Yeah, um, I before I pour milk, I need to put on my face protector, and he puts on a Point Break Reagan mask. <laughs> it's just like what the. Fuck? <laughs> um, and then uh, the 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 developer behind Crypt of the Necrodancer uh, taking a stab at Zelda. It's like, you know, I like Nintendo handing out their IPs to interesting people. So yeah. I'm really confused. Is this like Crypt of the Necrodancer and this game? Is is yeah. is this a separate game? Is it's this a like a... Because I've heard like both going around. I think, I think it's a separate game, but the main character from Crypt of the Necrodancer is in it. Yeah, helping them. So it's kind of like in the vein of uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. I mean, it, it is. I mean, I guess. It's Zelda. Yeah. Character. So it'll be it'll be like Crypt of the Necrodancer, probably with more Zelda skins. I thought the way they incorporated the overworld theme from the original Zelda was great. Um, um the, 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 it's just Nintendo found a way to just blow my mind again. I do want to shout out Double Fine. Dropping rad. Yeah. That looks rad. Yeah. So I love cool. Double Fine, man. In fact, that entire, like, there was. The whole thing think, was like. Excellent. The whole thing was like wall to wall. It's like, there's not, there's nothing here I wouldn't play. There's nothing there was, here I would actually avoid. Yeah. There were some games where I'm just like, I've never even heard of this, but mm-hmm. now it's piqued my interest. Like, I thought Overland looked cool. Uh, uh, is that the one where it's like the top down survival? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That one looked, that one did look really good. You're right. I agree. Um, any anything peak Corey or Phillips's interest? I didn't watch it, the Nindy show. Okay, but uh, I'm happy. You know, this is not. I'm not a Cuphead guy because I do not have the patience for those kinds of games. But I'm happy that more people are going to get to play it. Yeah, it's already sold three million copies, which is amazing. Yeah, um, it's not even out yet. It'll, it'll well, it's probably. not on a Switch, right? But um, yeah, it's already done 3 million copies, so good for them, man. Yeah. Yeah, Cuphead's going to do well on Switch, I think, for sure. Oh. I think it's going to sell the most there, to be honest. If you want Yeah, I, th- I bet it'll sell. Of any platform? or Well, yeah, I think, well, plus, like, there's a physical edition confirmed for Switch coming later, so a lot of people will buy it now and then keep that. Uh, uh, physical edition sealed. I'm assuming because I, I think a lot of people double dip on digital and physical for Switch sometimes, especially on indies and stuff like Cuphead. So. I still think the Steam version will outsell the Switch version, but I think the Switch version will outsell the Xbox version. Oh hell yeah, that's like. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's buying it on Xbox anymore because it's on Game Pass. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it, it, when they did the numbers, it had sold much more on. PC, same with uh, Dead Cells, but that's just kind of for a game like that. Like it's kind of a given, but for the console versions, like for Dead Cells, anyways, the Switch version was the second highest selling version. Yeah, out of the first million copies, they sold six hundred on PC, 
And then for the last last four hundred thousand, it was split between the three consoles, and apparently Switch was well in the lead. Of yeah, the or Xbox One. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me because Dead Cells is great on the go. Yeah, yeah. It, Do you think it's because there's a smaller library on that Switch? That like a like a game like that can kind of get more focused. I don't know. There's a bunch of crap coming out every day on the there Switch. There is, yes, but well, not. At the time, I don't think there was. Not I mean, they, they do though, a good job. Scores library. I mean, they do a good job of curating it though, because they have like a featured and, uh, you know, coming like their coming soon section and everything. Like they mm-hmm. do a good job of catering or curating the good stuff away from the crap. But yeah, they do get a lot of crap. Up, a they lot do. Of, there is uh, so much they, crap on the Switchy Show. But there's also hidden gems like like oh, Hook. Yeah. I found yeah. Hook last week for two dollars and I bought it, and it's like one of the best games I've played all year. So I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't hidden gems, but oh, you know, know. it's kind of like the PS4 where you, like, you look at that library and it probably sold better on Nintendo because people, like I said, they want it on the go. And uh, like you were pointing out, Matt, it's a little mix of that and the fact that the library is not you know, too huge. Like a lot of other people, I think, were probably playing AAA titles on <laughs> PS4 and Xbox. So they're, you know, I mean, I picked up Dead Self Day 1. Yeah, I ended up getting it on Switch day one just because I had that in early access because I remember they did their last. I I appreciated that before they raised the price, they said they're going to raise the price. They're like, we'll give you time to buy it now at the lower price. And then we're raising the price as we leave early access. So I just jumped. I I bought it. Yeah. It wasn't expensive, anyways, but I appreciated that they they were very open about it. Was this Dead Cells? Dead Cells, yeah. 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 Um, uh, any any thoughts on the Nindy Showcase, Corey? I know no. you guys are, I know you guys covered it on Pal Block, and that'll be out later this week. So yeah, I mean, I I know that by the I, time this is honestly, I everything in the direct besides like I mean Cuphead. Even I'm not even like super interested in Cuphead, but like nothing. Like I just I didn't care about anything they showed. To be honest with you, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, eighty percent like? of the games were like. Hey, uh, roguelike, and that automatically just cuts it out for me. So, well, now is it is it roguelike or is it random generation? Both. I hate. I just. I can't. I no. I I just don't like procedural generated stuff, and you know. You didn't like Diablo one. I never played Diablo one. You would have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> you would have liked it. If you, <laughs> you, you would have liked it, by God. <laughs> but to be to be honest, like I never even got into like Diablo three even when it came yeah. to Switch. Oh, so Diablo three so good. Nah, you, man, you're you're just a monster. I'm going to yeah. the bathroom with the door open. Don't like Diablo three. <laughs> I mean, that's probably not even the worst game. I don't like so. That's true. That's true. Um, well, my heart can't take it, so I I don't want to hear the rest of the list. <laughs> Well, I, I'm. That's fine. Tashawn so, made it made it a, a point to say last week that I was quiet on the show, so <laughs> I'll just keep quiet for now. Um, <laughs> We're just going to mute you for the rest. So this is well, so so this is so this actually brings up an interesting point. Uh, Moose and I are more interested in Nintendo at this point than Corey is. I mean, I'm interested in what Nintendo's putting out. But, but it's the Nindies, eh. and that, that's what the showcase was. I mean, no, just, the, just, you, it's all right. Thank no, the, the best, Defend the best, all you want. Hashtag, the best indie games were hashtag Fairweather follower. It's fine. The best indie games were announced outside of the Nindie showcase. So I mean, what what, what best games? Shantae Five, uh, Mutant Year Zero Deluxe Edition. Uh, Shantae, is that an indie game? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. They had a, I thought Way Forward has a publisher. I don't think so. Okay. Not to my I, I, knowledge. I, 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 well, I'm saying I think. I'm, I mean, I'm saying I know. Uh, what was the other game? There was one other game that was announced too, right after the showcase, and I was like, "Man, that sounds cool." Oh, the 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 Hyperlight Drifter follow up, and I know that that came beforehand, but like, the, uh, yeah, but that's that'll be on PC first. That that will be on Switch for a while. I know, but it'll it'll be there eventually. Maybe. And then they didn't even show King of Cards either, so that was disappointing. But that's yeah. fine. That's fine. I I'll wait. I'll wait patiently for that. So I don't know. I'm not like a big indie guy. You guys know this. It's 
very rare that one captures my attention. It's true. Hard. So true. Give me an M plus plus plus. I'll be good to go. Here we go. Yeah. Now you're talking. Um, okay. So uh, and then the other big thing we can cons- we are really going to talk about uh, is uh, Google entering the fray of gaming. That is more, true. More so than just the Chrome dinosaur game. Yeah. I don't know uh, what that means, but. Well, when your internet goes out, you can still start up Chrome and play a dinosaur game. Oh, that's cool. I guess. Is that the little dinosaur that pops up that tells you your internet's out? Yeah. There's mm-hmm. a game to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, run left and yeah, you can run right. And jump. Yeah, it's, an oh. endless, it's an endless runner, I guess. Oh, I just, ju- I just quit and be like, eh, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so, so this is a this is a this is an this is an interesting thing. Um, I feel like the panel here is going to be split in some interesting ways. Uh, Corey, you specifically requested to start off. I did because I think I'm the one that is like the most positive about it, and it's not because I'm like excited for what Google does with it. I'm actually excited to see what this tech brings in terms of what Microsoft is going to do with it when they announce theirs. Uh, Just because like say he felt validated by it. Yeah. Well, like I, I think it's really interesting to see all the integration and all the uh, like the YouTube integration, the microphone on the, on the controller, the, I can jump into this Twitch streamer's save state or this uh, streamer's kind. Of, well, I guess it would be YouTube at this point. Uh, this this streamer's uh, uh, multiplayer game, uh, my friend's multiplayer game. I can watch an ad for this game and click buy now and instantly be playing it within five seconds. I I can play it on my TV, to my laptop, to my phone. Uh, like all that stuff is super interesting. But I'm more interested to see like where Microsoft is because I think everything that Google showed, and granted, I know this is a this was a developers conference and this was a show for the developers. Uh, you know, they didn't really show <clears throat> a whole lot in terms of consumer the consumer side at least, uh, except for the controller, which I think actually looks really nice. Uh, it kind of looks like the Switch Pro controller with the with the DualShock layout, but. Um, it looks like a game controller should look. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean there's not, there's not much of a <clears throat> game controller at this point, right? Yeah, you're gonna have to have two analog sticks, four triggers, four face button, D pad, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Bare minimum. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but I'm more interested to see what Microsoft does with it because I we were talking on a where were we talking? I don't know. We were talking on one of the other nine thousand things that we do, mm-hmm. and like. Anything that Google showed off, like potentially Microsoft could do do the same exact thing and be five steps ahead of Google because they have the Xbox fan base, they have the the uh, first party studios and lineup to to pull it off, you know, and and uh, they have the safety of you can have both, where you can have the games on your hard drive and stream them, uh, no matter where you're at, you know, and I think I think that aspect of it is going to get people to jump in. It's going to be easier to dip your toe in the water. If you know that that safety net is there, you know, uh, one of the main differences you have to look at in their approaches is that Google is uh, targeting a considerably higher end user experience than Microsoft currently are with the cloud mm-hmm. X cloud because X cloud is based on actual Xbox one S hardware. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's going to deliver at most an Xbox One S level of performance and play. Mm-hmm. Whereas Google is running this off of, they didn't say which CPU that's a custom CPU, but they're certainly running it off Vega 56. Uh, for the GPU, it's considerably higher and I, in ideal circumstances, uh, user experience. So Microsoft have said they're going to scale. So whatever hardware they're running next gen will be included eventually in the cloud. Mm-hmm. So they'll upgrade it over time, but at least at launch. And we don't have much longer to wait because Microsoft is going to talk about it pretty soon. Um, but I think uh, they're, they're certainly targeting different. I mean, you heard Google talking about we support up to 8K or 4K60 on Doom uh, Eternal. 
um, that they're targeting different uh, ends of the spectrum, basically. Mm -hmm. Right now, anyways. Yeah, and like the thing is too <clears throat> is yeah, if Google can target 4K 60, like that's great and all, but like this streaming tech, I think is it's not really for us. It's for the 80 percent of the people who aren't quote unquote hardcore and just want to play a game every every once in a while. I feel like, and like I I feel like if Microsoft and Google can just get that streaming to good enough, I think people will start buying into it you know it's it's the it's the oh, net, yeah the netflix effect where like 4k netflix is not blu-ray 4k right no it's not the compression kills it and there, there's there's artifacting on the uh the visuals and the audio is different now for the average person uh, it's not a big deal like you just want to watch yeah. whatever you turn on netflix and watch yeah but, but like you've been playing counter-strike a lot right you're never yeah. going to want to play counter-strike on this thing you right? wouldn't be able to no uh the, i mean if you for a deep dive on it like digital foundry have done a good breakdown where they they record all the latency and stuff uh for anything fast based i mean you would not want to be playing dark souls on this thing or anything that requires precision movement um at least with the current clearly you've never structure. played Dark Souls multiplayer <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, with the um, like the current internet infrastructure. The Just current remember if state. Moose and I are playing each other in Dark Souls multiplayer, I can be five hundred feet away from him with a short sword and still hit him. <laughs> it's um, it's not precision. where you'd want to play something. Yeah, like a fast paced shooter. Um, but um, I'm I'm not a customer. I'm never going to be a customer of it because I prefer <clears throat> just a dedicated hardware. But I love the tech of it. I'm interested yeah. to see what they do with it. Yeah, and like what <clears throat> what you know, I was listening to the latest Bombcast on Friday because I was I'm I don't, I'm always late on that show. But like they said, you know, the the streaming services that had come before, like they would build the car, but they didn't wouldn't build the highway, right? Mm -hmm. And Google is trying to do both right now, which is another interesting thing, you know, with all these data centers and Google Fiber being planted everywhere. And, and if, <clears throat> if Google Fiber ends up taking off and, and becomes more widespread, you know, they have the money to, to, you know, burn on this for the next five, six, seven, eight years until they get it right. Right. And un unlike on live, which, you know, something like that needed it to work within the first couple months or, you know, even, even the uh, PlayStation now stuff like PlayStation been dipping their toes in this for what, four or five years at this point. The whole time. And, I mean, yeah. they were supporting streaming. I mean, they, they supported streaming from your PS4 launch day. Yeah. Uh, you could stream to Android, you could stream to your Vita. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they've, they've been trying a lot of it. Like it's, um, for me, if I were to jump into this kind of technology, again, because I prefer having my dedicated hardware, the only thing that would make me interested is A, the pricing, and B, do they have exclusive content that I can only play there? So I know they have Jade Raymond, for example, heading up uh, something for them, right? So if yeah. they were to have a game I could only play on this, okay, and I really want to play that game, then obviously I have to get it. That's why I buy consoles, right, for the exclusive uh content on them so that would that was the only thing that would make me interested really but it would never replace my regular gaming devices yeah and that's that's the one thing too is like <clears throat> this isn't going to be something that's going to replace your pc or your playstation or your xbox or whatever you know it's going to be at least for me on on my end like i i want to i think i'm going to get it and try it like i want to try it because i'm I'm not going to be building a whole library around this Google system, right? But I'll try one or two games and be like, see if it works. And in a couple months, if, if it doesn't work great right away, like in six months, I'll try it again. And six How months much would you that, be willing to pay for this? Would you pay $20 a month? Is it? A, I thought it, I thought it was just... They like, haven't done pricing. No, they, it costs yeah. money. Uh, I, I know it costs money, but I thought you were just going to buy the games piecemeal and like you would just buy like a Chromecast and a controller. They haven't said anything. They haven't said anything about that. Nothing about pricing. So say it's a subscription. Would you pay $20 a month for this? No, I would do the free trial and then end it when it was done at first. You know, and then depending on how well it ran or what their exclusive uh -huh. games are or whatever, like 
maybe six months from now I would try it, you know? Uh, but I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm more interested in like what Microsoft is going to do with it because I would love to be playing Halo on my Xbox, you know, and then uh, go to bed and like continue playing it on my phone with the little dongle that keeps my phone in place with my Xbox controller. Like, I think that would be really cool if I could just do that or, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Halo is not the best example, but like something like Fable or, or whatever else they have coming, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's, I'm, I'm interested in the, in the technology of it. I mean, I, the more access you have to your content, the better, right? There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. Mm-hmm. It, it, I guess it would be the quality of that stream. Mm-hmm. And whether that's where you want to play it. I mean, I don't like playing when I have the switch. I don't like playing it handheld. I prefer to have it on the big screen, right? Mm-hmm. But that option is there for you if you want it. Yeah. And I, I like that. There's nothing wrong with that. The more choices the consumer has, the better. Yeah. Like I'm the same way. I prefer <laughs> to play my switch on the TV unless I'm like laying in bed and like, you know, I bought a se- I honestly have a second dock when it was on sale on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I bought one. So I could actually play the game in the bedroom, you know, on the TV. And, uh, but that option is there. And that's, that's what I like about the streaming is like, you know, if I'm going to play a game, have a game on my Xbox, I can stream it somewhere else too. And, and that's what I'm looking forward to the most out of this tech, I think. So I don't know. It's, I'm super interested in, in this tech and what I want to know how is Google really going to put money behind this? Are they really going to support this? Like, or is this just going to be another Google plus type situation or, Google you know what I mean? Apps. Yeah. I mean, you <laughs> know what I mean? Like, is this just a project they're like pouring money into? And then if it doesn't work, they're just going to throw it away. You know, well, I don't, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think it is. Yeah. I, I'm the same way too. Moose. I, like, I, I I think that too, because they wouldn't have had this big press conference. They wouldn't have had, you know, one of the biggest names in gaming uh, had their first party studio. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know who she is. So Jade Raymond, she Jade Raymond. Jade uh, Raymond's awesome. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell. Yeah, like, uh, Jade you know. Raymond. She's one of the ones that left EA just recently. Yes, yeah, she, mm-hmm. she wasn't. She like working on like a Star Wars game or something. Was, yeah, with Motive. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So here, here's my thoughts on it. You want to know what this is? This is Google dipping their toe in streaming, but also a better way for them to take on Twitch. Because if you look at it, like YouTube streaming, like they're canceling it, or it's just it's just tanking. It's not doing well. And, and YouTube content creators would rather create like small bite-sized videos for their their audiences to enjoy whereas like twitch has just got a foothold on that well this like like we were saying allows you to jump in at a safe state where your favorite you know where your favorite streamer is playing and be like i want to try that boss or i want to see what that what's going on with that or you know you're watching a streamer play an actual game and be like I want to try that game and play it and you can jump in and, you know, just play the game for a while and then pick it up in multiple places like mobile, be it your computer, your phone, I mean your phone or your uh, tablet. So I think that's what they're trying to do. And so my response to your, you know, you saying like, I hope this is, you know, this doesn't like fizzle like Google plus or Google glass. I don't think it will. No, I don't think, I think yeah. it's going to be I mean, around as long as, if not longer, than YouTube. And I think it's eventually what YouTube is going to morph into. Eventually, <clears throat> like uh, Google, Google will make YouTube that because they own it. But I think Google will make YouTube that because they own it. Yeah, yeah no, I know. They'll just they'll just like they'll like like everything they do. They'll just be like, we're just going to move Stadia, you know, YouTube up under Stadia. You know, I think I think the interesting too with YouTube with Stadia also is like theoretically you're going to be able to talk to your controller and tell it to f- help you, f- uh, you know, beat this area of the game, and like it'll just bring up a YouTube video, right? Yeah, like that's that's super interesting to me at least. Uh, although you know, you can just type it into your phone and do the same thing, but. Uh, I don't know. I, I I feel like it's weird because Stadia is eliminating a lot of things, good and bad, right? Like, 
like one of the bad things is like that sense of ownership over a game too, right? Where, you know, our generation of gamers has always had this sense of ownership over games. And, you know, what does a younger generation think? Do they think that they own their games or do they just play games to play them? Like what, what's like, are we reaching that point where we are not the demographic for this? (laughs) You know what I mean? I mean, like, I, I don't think I don't think we've been the demographic for a lot of games for a long time, but somehow we keep playing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty hip with what the kids are playing these days. I'm I'm flossing, you know, stand out there and floss to Carlton. You, you know? know how to I know, floss? I know what you're talking. About. <laughs> sometimes no. Sometimes I like fake floss, and my wife just tells me I'm an idiot. She just said, "Go sit down." I'm like, okay. Tell me Sana tells Corey I'm also, to make her a sandwich. <laughs> I'm also like way too large to floss because I can't really fit my arms around my body the way that skinny kids can. So mm. there's also that problem. Is that the backpack kid? Is that is that what he yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. he's famous for? Yeah. yeah. I like how I like how famous people just have these like weird names now, like backpack kid, orange shirt kid. Uh, Who's orange shirt kid? I don't know. He has some kind of dance that was being sued that Fortnite was being sued for, also. So I don't know. Uh, there was also like open mouth kid at some point. I don't know. All you know, these kids are just weird. <laughs> orange shirt kid. I think the kids' parents I are probably weird. How many, <laughs> how many? How many kids have orange shirts? I'm just saying. Come up with a better name. Oh. Orange shirt kid, backpack kid got famous because Katy Perry took him on uh, Saturday Night Live, I think. But mm. okay, um, we watched that episode. That's the only reason why I know. And he so, floss during a Katy Perry song. So I really wanted to dig into Stadia and take notes, but every time I watched that conference four times, and I stopped taking notes every time about ten minutes in. Um, because the the first parts of that presentation are actually like that's that's like Google mapping out your dark digital future. <laughs> yeah. Um. And like 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 Brad and Jeff on on Giant Bomb, they were like, "This is frightening." Like yeah. they're just they're just doing this, and you're just like, "Yeah, they're doing that." And then I think the I think the technology is interesting. And I also I've, I've seen a, I've I've seen and heard a lot of people say, yeah, no way this shit's gonna work, no way this shit's gonna work. But at the same time, it's just like you are an opinion on the internet, and Google has a system of network software and computer engineers, probably at in and around the PhD mastery level of this. So chances are they might know how to do this just a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm not going, I mean, the fact and the fact that Google got in front of folks and said, hey, this is what we're doing. This is going to happen. Um, they're probably, they're, they're not, they're not just being, yeah, this is a lark. <laughs> we're just going to see if this works. Um, so I'm definitely fascinated by it. I also have more of a belief in them pulling it off, whereas if, like, as if like Sony or, or Microsoft got in front of people with this kind of presentation, I'd be like, I don't, th- I wouldn't think they could do it. Like if, if this was if this was Phil Spencer saying this or or Sean Layden saying this, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't buy this for a second, because you were the same folks that said Vita was going to be play anywhere, play your PS4 games anywhere, and how did that work out? Oh yeah, there is, uh, there is an article you can look up. And Gadget um, are very critical of it, skeptical of it. Oh no, yeah, I, I read that one. Um, um, so th- there are certainly some people. Again, I, I think it's a real product. I mean, I don't think it's. Uh, yeah, like this is. Ultra. I mean, it's it's a real thing. I, I think. You know, they, they purposely show it under the best possible conditions. Um, of course. And, um, they don't, oh, you mean they vertical sliced it? Are you kidding me? They, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you, they're talking about best case scenario in a lot of these cases, right? Yeah, so, that's that's all. It's a fucking sales pitch. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, no, certainly. I mean, there is, if you want to, 
satisfy your curiosity. There are people like Engadget who we had mentioned who have done critical pieces of it. Um, Forbes has one for mm -hmm. as much value as you place in their technology department. Um, None. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't particularly like their game coverage either. Um, but uh, again, I, I'm I'm excited about it, but I'm always excited about technology. I mean, that's something I've been obsessed with since I got my first computer in the 80s. Like, I love technology, yeah. right? So I want it to be awesome. I want it to be exactly what it, they say it is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, again, I'm not going to be a customer unless it's got some incredible uh, exclusive game on it that I can only pay, play there. But I want it to be... Big I don't think there will be an exclusive for this. I really don't. Well, if they're if they're making their own studios, like they yeah, if they have their first party but studio, see, they're gonna see, make here's, something. Here's the thing. I also I also have this weird hunch that we're thinking about this the wrong way. Like I don't necessarily think this is them just making a console and entering that space. I don't mean making a console, but um, no. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. No. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish anyway, so we'll just mute you. Um, That's what she said. I didn't mute you. Uh, I, but I also think this this is this is like Oculus coming out. This is it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a new for lack of a better word weirdo coming into the space and saying this might be a way to to move forward. And I feel like that's the paradigm rather than just, Hey, Google's going to put out a box that's going to sit right next to your PS4 and your Xbox and your Nintendo and your PC. And for all you idiots that bought an Ouya right next to that too. Um, I think this is, this is just a, a new dimensional shift for the industry. And I know that probably sounds hyperbolic, but I don't know another way to say it. I actually think that apart from like, if Google does have a first party studio, I think that this will probably be a, a thing that you don't necessarily have to buy a, that first party exclusive or whatever. You might not have to buy a box to play it. Oh no. I, I don't even think there is a box. And there isn't a box. There's no I, box. But like, like Corey made the the highway analogy. I think this is this is they're building the highway, and everything else is the car. See, I took it as Google Fiber was the highway, and Stadia is the car. Is how I kind of took it. Well, but see, they didn't mention Google Fiber at all in the presentation. Well, they don't need to. It's not part of their games initiative. <laughs> No, but but like but, but my point here is I think this is going to be a space in which everybody gets involved. Like with I don't I don't streaming or with Google yeah Facebook. yeah like I think everybody will probably have a place in this. Like think of this as like think, think like think about like 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 think about like Steam, for example. Right. Everybody's games are on Steam, unless you know your rape day. Um, so, my guess, my, my guess here, and this is completely a guess, is this might be the way to stream from somewhere to a PS4, or somewhere to an Xbox, or somewhere to a Switch. Well, they've said that they want to support every device. Like that you can play Stadia on your PS4, right? Yeah. If, if I'm grokking what you're saying, I believe you're trying to say that they're going to allow anyone to put their games on this service. Sony putting Last of Us on. Is that what you're trying to say? Like, Yeah. Like you think everyone will have their games on this? I think eventually they will, yeah. I mean, like they've tried. I don't know if they ever did this. There was a time where they were talking about just Sony selling TVs with PlayStation hardware built into it, or like mm -hmm. it's now app on it and you can just get a controller and just play, right? You know, you yeah. have the TV, you don't have to buy a separate console. Um, I mean, there's lots of ways they could go with it. My impression of it was that it's all third party stuff and possibly Google's first party stuff. I mean, they, they have Jade Raymond there for a reason. Yeah. That was my impression. They're going to have, 
you know, like Netflix has exclusive content as yeah. well as third party stuff that that's, um, I mean, hopefully they don't acquire $10 billion of debt like Netflix has, but um, it, it, that was my impression of it was that it's a, str- a streaming service that you can access. I feel like if you were to buy take two, that changes this entire discussion. If what, sorry? If Google were to out and out buy take two, this, that changes this entire discussion. I would be annoyed by that as a, <laughs> I, I think the more, I, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of that, that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, limiting me as a consumer to the amount of places that I can play those games. Uh, mm-hmm. Personally, I don't like that, but I understand that it's a business and they need to acquire content and IPs and exclusive content in order to push people towards their service or box or platform or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't like that stuff. Like, not a fan. But no, I'm, I, I, I would understand from a Google's perspective why they'd want to do something like that. Yeah, I mean, that's where GTA is, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, "Okay, I guess we got to look at Google as a serious thing now." Or at least any gamer person, I guess. Um, anybody else have any nice, thoughts on this? It'd be nice if they would allow you to, rather than just streaming, if they would allow you to download some type of local copy or like download local files to, so you could cache them and not have to stream the entire thing um, as mm-hmm. they go forward. Like they probably move in, in that direction. What's that, sorry? I mean, like if you look at uh, uh, PS Now, they're allowing that. Yeah, yeah, they've got, I think at some point they're going to have to probably offer both offer that as an option like hey you're on your phone well your phone only has like 128 gigs or whatever yeah. you're not going to try and put a game on there so just you're going to melt your battery but, play <laughs> yeah but oh you've got you've got like a tablet or whatever which probably is not a bad uh, not a good example but you got your computer and you're like oh hey i want to put i'm going to be playing the hell out of i don't know division two mm-hmm. i'm gonna download it there you know what I mean? And like you said, like just be able to play it off. They're probably going to have a store where it's a streaming service and then also you can buy games. And then the games, you could be like like your photos and all that, all your other stuff with the Google. Just keep it in the cloud and I'll access it when I want to the way I want to, whether I download it or stream it. Like that's how they're, that's how they're going to probably work it. But it's yeah. probably going to be something that, I mean, heck, they might even wait and do it. I'm not wait. They might just launch it from the get-go. You know, yeah. like some other companies might, that might be something where they're like, we're just going to try the streaming service at first, but Google might have the, they got the infrastructure to just do it all at once. Yeah. So. I mean, they have yeah. the money too. So, I mean, they have. Yeah, I think. They have the money. They've I got think it, information too. Yeah. I think at some point they're going to, I, I don't know if like going all in on streaming is going to work for them at long, like. At first, like I think eventually they're gonna allow you to do what PlayStation allows you to do, right? Is like download PS4 and PS2 games. Mm-hmm. I think that feature will eventually come, uh, especially if like this doesn't take off the way they want it to. Uh, but again, it's also it might be a slow burn for them. You know, it might take them three, four, five years to get this to where they actually want it to be and be viable in terms of streaming and like. Google has the money to burn, right? It's just how much dedication mm-hmm. are they going to put into this? Yeah. So. I think they're certainly going to buy a lot of um, influencer uh, yeah. content on this for sure. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. Streamers playing and then saying, hey, jump into whatever ninjas game. Or well, I, I, yeah. And that was the one, that was the one thing of the, of the entire conference. Well, keynote, I guess I should say that just had it, put a bad taste in my mouth is every time they referred to YouTube positively. I mean, I know our shows on YouTube, that's fine. But like there's a lot of shit on YouTube. There's a lot of mm-hmm. problematic shit on YouTube. And it's real weird that like, but YouTube also has, will it blend? And that's a great channel. <laughs> Crickets. I love mm-hmm. it. You want to see a blender blend golf balls, but I get what you're saying. Like they're going to promote their own. <laughs> it has a lot of fucking white supremacist shit. On yes, it. I know. A lot of, it, a lot of, 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 a lot of humanity's finest. Just okay, but, like, the but, like, internet, but the entire internet does kill. 
Yeah, I know. But at the same time, it's like maybe I, that's a different discussion. That's a, that's it's a, a different discussion, but it's like, a way really different discussion. I mean, they're not going to mention that in their promotion. Yeah, but it's just like platform. YouTube, but, but he said, but like some people, when you mention YouTube, like that shit comes to their head first. Like for me, the the problematic shit I engage with the most on YouTube, and and I'm not ashamed to admit that, admit this, is the flat Earth stuff because that shit is fucking hilarious. But you go looking for that. I will go look. I, I will go look for some dumb flat Earth shit because no, what I mean is like those people are hilarious. It's not like in your face when you go on YouTube. Depending on the the way the algorithm is, because like, remember late last year everybody fell in love with that weird 80s j-pop song plastic love because it just showed up everywhere flat earth stuff is stupid i'm not sure i'd call it <laughs> problematic i mean like i think anti-vax stuff is problematic yeah like that's yeah. dangerous well, we'll, see, just, well here's the thing flat oh. earth has a has a convention now so it's clearly there's a problem happening well, yeah i mean that's another show as well right but <laughs> I, mean, um, I, I don't know if i'd call that problematic content it, it, it's just questionable certainly but i mean it's unfortunate yeah but like, yeah well, i mean spreading mi of misinformation is we're talking about gaming though so we'll stick yeah. to that let's go back to games um okay so do we have any other thoughts on stadia any anybody else have anything i think I, to eat on? I think uh it's good if you if you have good internet and you don't have a kick-ass pc like to let the cloud do computing, and if Google backs up what they're what they said it'll do, then that's awesome, and it mm -hmm. might be something I buy into. And I mean, I have, I've got Google Play Music, I've got YouTube Red or Premium. You got a three. Pixel? I've got a Pixel Three. I just had to replace my Pixel, so I wouldn't like I wouldn't doubt if they come out and say here are our price tiers when they finally do. And then they're like, oh, hey, by the way, if you already have a bunch of our services, here it is at a discounted price, you know? So um, it might be something that I will try, but also it might be something where I'm like, hey, I'm just going to watch people play it and check it out. And then I'll, you know, I'll mm -hmm. try and eventually see after like, a, you know, like a month of reviews, see how things yeah. are going on. But it would be, it would, I think it could be cool for a lot of people. Who want to try triple a games and just don't want to deal with like a console or a pc you no know? like as someone who loves the industry loves video games the more people playing games and supporting the industry like to me is a win mm -hmm. right exactly I, it's not it doesn't have to be a place that i want to play on um but the more people being driven to uh, video games and supporting developers, more games coming out. I mean, that that only benefits me as a gamer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to see developers starving and working for years on a game only to have to go out of the, go out of business and get another job, right? It's a, uh, mm -hmm. so if this kind of thing can, or Game Pass or, you know, any of these new initiatives can help that, you know, I'm completely in favor of it, even if I myself am not a customer. Yeah. Okay. Final thoughts, Corey Moose. No, I'm good. Okay, we've got a couple questions. What do you say? Sure, why not? All right. Uh, Jameson. Oh, wait, actually, you can send us questions. NGR Radio Podcast at gmail dot com or Nerds Gone Rogue on Twitter or any of the the socials because uh, that that's where we get them in our in our Facebook group as well. Uh, yeah. That's how you can send us questions like Jameson Flannerly did. Hey, y'all just found your show through one of your giveaways and been going back to listen to the backlog or to the old backlog. Got to say, y'all got a pretty sweet show. Is there any one thing you think y'all could do better or are you happy with it? Cool show, nerds. Jameson. I'm well, welcome welcome to the so show, Jameson. Jameson. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the show. Uh, We're giving away Mortal Kombat 11 in April. I think I think what we could do better is 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 make Philip squirm a little bit more. Yeah, make him rage. Like we really got to. Yeah, we can get, get him angry. Yeah, I don't, like I don't even have a temper, man. Like I don't know what you're talking about. Poking the bear. I don't know. What you're you know 
have been talking about the the PC the gaming sucks. Wow. GPU CPU sucks. This bad religion is garbage. Look, man, you shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I right. knew. <laughs> uh, See? His, his face is already red. That was quick. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, you got my skin there. It won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know how to make him angry. Uh, hey, Phillips, I'm down. Can you revive me? Where are you? I'm right, like, way forward and I'm in a couple of elites. <laughs> I would just leave you there. Yeah. Oh, I did. I, yeah. oh, I, would, they, I, don't know, wow. I would just fucking leave them. Like yeah. you got to learn your lesson, man. <laughs> we we were playing Division Two, and I'm just like, like, because I played the beta. Mm-hmm. Like the spawn points are ridiculous, and it's like you can't advance until like yeah. The I person that that's telling you about the missions telling me, that now. Advance, and <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? And so, like one of the missions we were doing, he is. I think it was the rooftop gardens. He goes like running after some loot, and I'm like, I it, and like I couldn't even get the sentence out. Like I wouldn't do that, and all of a sudden, like there were like four or five guys just spawning and like coming after him, and he was, I think he was down. Within, like, uh, yeah, three I was, uh, yeah, I was down, but like I didn't, well, I didn't. I'm gonna do that in the show, so I'll just make an observation. I don't think we actually answer any of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> we do answer think, the questions. We do. I think, I think we just use them to go off and talk about what we want, but that's okay. It's no, we show. answer the questions. I'm we joking. Look, look, we, we come do back. better. We come um, back. I feel personally, I like. I would like to get back to more of like uh, topic shows. And have our okay. question shows be every once in a while. Like, there's plenty of stuff that we can discuss, like game wise, music wise, yeah, TV wise. Sh- you know, who watches all that. TV? Well, I mean, yeah. you don't even have to watch, like Netflix. You don't <laughs> watch sports. Actual TV. We could talk sports. Uh, I mean, I, I think we can, as far as like the whole nerds gone rogue thing, like you know, branching out a little bit, mm-hmm. discussing some other things. You know. Like, I think that would be cool because I feel like because we have the heart out at, at you know, 1030 for mm-hmm. Matt, like we've become a little more streamlined and it's like we spend so much time talking about what we've been playing and all that stuff. Like tonight we actually had a topic, mm-hmm. which was Bull Stadia, which is which was pretty cool. And it was yeah. fun to talk about. So I think in the future, maybe working it into where we're like, hey, this is going to be our topic for next week's show and get the listeners prepped and then they can send their questions in. And then we can just talk about that topic, you know, instead of what, you know, do a little planning, maybe mm-hmm. a little bit. Of more. That's what I'd like to see done better. I agree with and- all that. <laughs> Corey, you have any thoughts? Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of, but I don't know, like if it's like, I don't know. I, I, I think we could do a better job, like telling people where, they can find us like more at the top of the show than at the bottom because like just from analytics, I can see exactly where people like end the show and they usually end about somewhere between four and seven minutes before the end of the show. And it's because we just ramble on where people can find us or, you know what I mean? Like, and they don't, I do tell, I do tell everyone where they can find us at the beginning of the show. Did you forget us? Not, not, the show or well, they've already Facebook found group. us. We're on YouTube. Duh. Just, We're on YouTube next to flat hey, earth. You know what? You asked, shit. you asked me what I thought we could do better. That's my suggestion. If you don't like it, then I'll just stop answering I'm the question. Fucking with you, dude. Continue. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things. I, I think personally, if nerds gone rogue was like the only thing that we did, this podcast was like the only thing that we did. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of things I would change. I mean, I think, Google Hangout sucks, to be honest with you, but this is like I would change where we, how we record and where we record. But so Google Hangout sucks, but Google Stadia will be amazing. I didn't say it would be amazing. I said oh, I'm yeah. interested I'm in the thing. Fucking... Look, you said PC gaming sucked. I had to get back to you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> then you say Nintendo sucks or something. Not you don't even like Nintendo anymore. You're right. I don't. We I established that earlier. <laughs> they suck until Link's Awakening comes out, and then I'll just you know. Find they're a way. Not, they're not putting out ten poor releases. Corey's not interested. Yeah. Uh, man, fire them. That looks real good. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, I got my special edition pre-ordered. 
I mean, I, I, I echo, I echo the panel. Um, there's a lot I'd like. It's to okay. Do. I was done. You started talking about fire emblem, man. How am I, how am I not supposed to think you're done? I was playing off Phillips insult and I was telling him how awesome fire emblem He's was trying to be. prove how much of a Nintendo fan he is. <laughs> Great. He's pre-ordered one game. Yeah. Fire emblem blows. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it and I'll say it again. Fire Emblem sucks. <laughs> Wishes it could be Advance Wars. Wishes. If um, you want Advance Wars, there's a really good game called Wargroove out right now. It's basically Advance Wars. Wargroove's Check it out. Hard. It's real difficult. Oh. Oh, oh Advance- settle down. I'm not going to play Cuphead. Settle down. All right. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I said it. I wasn't going to play Cuphead because it's too hard. Yeah. Wargroove is hard, but yeah. they also added difficulty modes in the new update, so you can play it on baby ass baby mode. Ugh. You're welcome. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have anything else to answer Jameson's questions? I mean, not directly, but I was just kind of going on what I would change about the show if I, if this was like all we were doing, you know. But that's all. It's so frustrating. <laughs> You're like, I wasn't done. No, I don't really have anything else to directly answer. No, it just it doesn't really directly answer his question. But there are a ton of things I would change about the show if we like had the time and like we weren't trying to do other things. And you know what I mean. And I'd, like, I'd have work. I'd have everybody record their own audio separately and go in and edit it. I would not use Google Hangouts. I would use some sort of like. I don't know, quote unquote, real program. I wouldn't use Skype because <laughs> Skype sucks even worse than it used to. But you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I would try to make this show the best show it could possibly be if we weren't doing other things. And I kind of feel like I've let that slip. To be honest with you, uh, you put me in charge. That's the first problem. <laughs> you said, "Hey, Matt, host." <laughs> Is that how that went? I guess I don't, that's kind Did of. Do you not listen to the division story? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I I I would like to like plug like the giveaway at the top of the show instead of a random sentence towards the end or like. Well, I figured you were putting uh, it in as a bumper at the beginning, like you did the others. No, I just I did that originally because the, we only had like two weeks to promote the giveaway, so that was the only reason why I did it the first time, and then I just added it because we never did it the rest of the shows. I just yeah. kept adding it back. I I thought that was sort of your I. I thought that was your plan. I'm sorry. No, I mean, I... Hey, you know what? I know what we could change. Fucking communication with each other. How about that? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm a terrible communicator. I'm bad at it as well, <laughs> apparently. Talk all yeah. the time, though. We're all what? terrible, terrible people. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Here, here's my answer, James. We're, we're just the fucking worst. Um, <laughs> we, are, we are four garbage ass white people on the internet. Specific, we're garbage ass straight males, white on the internet. So we're just the worst. That's that's really it. We I, and we we could change, but why? That's true. That's true. That's true. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I also tend to overthink a lot of things and I just sometimes I just need somebody to tell me to shut up and so we can just move along. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No I idea. Hmm. Deshaun. That's why I moved this here. Hey, my white brethren and Canadian neighbor. I like how I like how Phillips escaped the being white. Uh, what system do you think the best light what system do you think has the best li- library of games not counting pc uh this should be good <laughs> jeez i don't know I like, how, I like how he just has to cripple phillips <laughs> yeah i mean like it takes the the big I mean, that would be my answer um <laughs> Well, I think that's like the easy answer, though, right? Because like he has, he has almost everything well, except for like the the first party exclusives. I think that for a lot of people, I mean, they could honestly answer with one of the consoles, and that would be their honest answer, and mm-hmm. you know, just based on their personal preferences. So for me, uh, I would say it's the PS4. Um, I 
have always been a big fan of Sony's consoles. That's I, I had a Nintendo. I liked it, but I also had a PC at the time from the, the mid eighties and I preferred gaming there. It was when I got a PS one, honestly, where I really had my eyes open to how good console gaming could be. And um, that's what made me fall in love with console gaming. So PS one, PS two, PS three, PS four. I love all of them. And you know, for me, that's, my favorite uh, console experience, and I think PS4, just from their first-party content or exclusive content alone, uh, there's been so many games on that system that I've just absolutely loved. Uh, and then when you include all the third-party stuff, all the indie stuff, in my opinion, if, I, if I'm not allowed to say PC, I think PS4 has the best library. Nice. nice. I don't, man, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me at least. Like I, I really like the GameCube's library, but I also like really like the Wii U's library because it has my three favorite Zelda games on it. It has my favorite Mario, my favorite uh, 2D and 3D Mario game on it. And if you don't count the, the NES like it has a really good Pikmin game on it it has uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X which I think is severely underrated and underplayed uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions was really cool uh, you know it has it has a handful of third party games that I really enjoyed on it like uh, Black Flag that's where I played Black Flag it's where I played uh, Arkham Origins which I really enjoyed Splinter Cell Blacklist is on there like I, th- I think the Wii U has a really strong library trapped on a not so great console, you know, like I, I and I, I think it shows how the Switch is basically porting that entire library, you know, Captain Toad, Bayonetta 2, uh, those games were, were awesome, you know, like I, I think the Wii U has a, has a strong case for one of the strongest libraries, um, and that's not even counting pers- uh, virtual console, you know. Uh, but you know, I really like the GameCube's library. N sixty four's library is really good. Uh, man, I don't know. It's tough. It's it's tough because I if you name a console, I I usually have a pretty good like solid memories of of playing games on there. You know, even something like the Dreamcast. You know, like that kind of stuff. So I don't know, man. It's hard. <sighs> Mine's a quick one. Um, I think if you were, I think the really the way to answer this question is to take the games that are only specifically available on that particular system, um, and I would say the Super Nintendo, best library ever. Yeah, see, I never never really got into the Super Nintendo because I never had one until late. Yeah. And then by the time I started playing those games, like, the N64 was out, and, like, that system was amazing for me at the time. So, like, playing Mario 64 and Zelda and uh, Smash and Mario Kart, even though I think that's, like, one of the worst Mario Karts. But uh, Mario Tennis and Mario Golf were awesome. Uh, Star Fox, like I think, I think a lot of the Nintendo 64's library was pretty good. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I don't know. Super Nintendo is like a really big gaping hole in my gaming library. So it's real good. That's that's what I've heard. I heard it's one of the best. Some people would say. And then there's Moose. What do you think, sir? See, that's a that's a tough one. I, which console has the best library? I mean, personally, I'm gonna go PS4. It has my favorite library. Mm-hmm. So in my opinion, it has the best library. Like, it's got a crap ton of really good indies on it. It has a lot of good triple A third party, and then it has, I think, the best um, console exclusives for this generation and including the the mid-generation switch mm-hmm. like i think all the games like 
you know, Bloodborne, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, like those crush Super Mario Odyssey and Legend of Zelda, even though I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan. And I love Breath of the Wild, like in hindsight, like when you think about it and playing it, there's like, yeah, they could have tweaked this, they could have tweaked that, you know, and so you you sit there and, and you know, kind of like second guess, like you're where you put it on your list of, of titles. But anyways, not that the Switch doesn't have great games, but I just feel Sony's PS4 library. Like you could pretty much just have a PS4 for the rest of your lifetime and play like a tremendous amount of great games on it. Like, I mean, you could, if you had access <laughs> to my library, Jeez. You feel like the games I own, you, you, you would probably never have to buy another game for the rest of your life. So, I mean, it's just. Except Bloodborne 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I think, I think the PS4 is really good. And I mean, it's got some really good games coming out. And then, I mean, it also has the VR. So, like, that's the other thing. I mean, granted, you have to buy another piece of technology to play the VR games, but they've put out a lot of really good... There's a lot of really good VR games out there. So, it's awesome. So I And, and I love PlayStation 1. I had a PlayStation 1. Played a lot of classic RPGs on there. You know, um, Star Ocean, Second, uh, Second Story... Played Final Fantasy VII, a lot of the sprite-based, turn-based JRPGs, and loved them to death. Had a PlayStation 2, loved that. Didn't have a PS3. We've talked about that. And so it's just, you know, I think the 4 is just the best. If I had to pick out of all three of the PlayStations that I've owned, I would pick 4, which I own currently. Matt? I'm here. I know. Oh, uh, mine was Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. We're done. Yeah. Well, so that's it for questions. All right. So uh, I guess that brings episode one thirty-eight of Nerds Gone Rogue to an end. We did. I just want to say that the. Uh, I just want to say that the Mortal Kombat trailer from today's state of state of play was really really good, <laughs> and it's making me. I'm not a big fighting fan game fan, but. Everything about this game is making me really want to play it. Like everything they're showing just looks so good. So, so is is it that you don't like fighting games, or you? Well, I'm terrible at them, and I typically don't like to play games that I'm terrible at. Okay, so it's more along the lines of like you enjoy them, like I do, but you just don't play them because you suck at them. Like yeah. I like watching people play them. I like when people get excited about them. Like when I talk to Gideon. And he's got a he's always got a fighting game on the horizon. Oh yeah. Back in seven, he was playing Dead or I Alive. Dead or Alive. Well, I think he's in the beta for more. The last one I remember getting obsessed with was on PS1. I think it was Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. I loved I I went nuts over that. And um so I loved that. And mm-hmm. I have not played a Mortal Kombat game. Jeez. Forever. Since the nineties. Yeah. Um, I think I maybe played more MK Trilogy on PS1. I think the last Mortal Kombat game I played was actual Mortal Kombat. Yeah, like I think it was yeah. the, the Sega Genesis version. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think that's the last actual Mortal Kombat game it I had played. had the blood. <laughs> and um, I, yeah, because the Super Nintendo version didn't, right? Yeah, it just, had, it, just had, it just had, I guess, what was it, gray blobs? Yeah, it was and... <laughs> Yeah, everything when you, when you about this game when, when looks awesome. Without your spine, all you do is sweat. <laughs> yeah, it just looks so good. From the uh, the fatalities to just like I love the humor in it, and it just it just looks really interesting to me, anyways. <laughs> Deshaun in <laughs> in the chat. Why does Sea Doggy Dog always look like he's sad and quiet? Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> he listens to Nickelback all day, so he's always contemplating his life. Ooh, ouch. Hmm. It's fair. Anybody would be sad if they listened to Nickelback all day. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. See, he knows music. Who does? Well, Nickelback's the band that moms listen to because they think their kids think it's popular. <laughs> 
I mean, they're selling yeah. records. Somebody's got to be buying them. I, I There's just a lot wanna, of moms out there. I just want to say to Deshaun, I have a counter question. How come your nickname game is so good with Corey? <laughs> dog, no. <laughs> that needs to be on a shirt. Keep, keep that dog. Keep that coming, Deshaun. <laughs> Bump into Corey again and just give him a new nickname. It'd be great. Hmm. Am I supposed to answer that question or I, I mean he's he's asking. I don't know. I just I just kinda let the conversation happen and jump in when I feel like it. And if I don't feel like I have anything to say, I'm not gonna just like Hey guys, I'm gonna say something cool about this, you know. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I just Plus, I'm like, I am tired, but that's every day now. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, we survived this show without Riley interrupting. That's not true. I muted myself quite a bit. Oh. So, I have a mute button on the microphone so it doesn't show up on the video. Oh, I was like, what the hell's going on? You didn't mute yourself at all. (laughs) No, I muted myself like three or four times. Uh, Well, I'm. uh, Everything okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's just trying she just sometimes she like cries in her sleep mm-hmm. and it, it only lasts for like a second or two it's when they it's the long ones that you got to worry about so that's why okay she's fine though all right long as everything's fine everything's fine she's fine she's a big girl she can handle it moose where can we find you you can find me at sven on twitter instagram and PSN Network and Twitch as well. Uh, I need to pick up streaming again. I always say that, but anyways, you can also find me on Tuesday, usually starting around nine o'clock on YouTube when I join Jason and Jeff and hosting Nerds Gone Platinum, where we discuss the PlayStation platform, which is our love. Um, you can tweet us at ng underscore platinum, or you can uh, email us questions, comments, and concerns at Nerds Gone. Platinum at gmail.com. Sweet. <laughs> I'll be yeah, emailing my question this oh, week. Oh, sorry. Quick, quick. Also, you can enter our contest to win a copy of Days Gone, which is going on until the Monday before the game releases, which is the 26th of April. I honestly thought he remembered the phone number. No. <laughs> I'm not. To, to be honest, Jason was on Nintendo Power Block this week, and I don't think he remembered the phone number off the top of his head. So, I'm gonna he be honest, I, he's smart enough to write shit down. He I didn't know, remember yeah. it in person either. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I just, love that you quizzed him. <laughs> of course, I'm going to. <laughs> what's, that? what's the phone number? What can I reach you at again? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but as as we as we were going home, he was like, "They don't have a phone number for you, right? They can't just call you." I go, "It's not his phone number. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Google number. It's a that Google like, number yeah. that goes like to a voicemail." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a Google Stadia number. I know um, this is quite late, but anybody, just FYI, Mass Effect Andromeda is only seven dollars on the Xbox Store. If anybody cares, I just got it for some reason. I got to add for it, so there you go. You're welcome, Captain Canada. You're an NGR radio exclusive, aren't you? Yes, sir. Can't find him anywhere else. Great yeah. plug, Captain Canada. Nice and short, that's what I like. <laughs> Corey, take us home. Uh, you can find me at CoreyNHG713 on Twitter. You can find me at CoreyNHG on Instagram and Twitch. You can also find me on Nintendo Power Block, our Nintendo show, and various other content on NGRRadio.com. You can find Nerds Gone Rogue every Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time on YouTube.com slash NGRRadio, NGRRadio.com, and your podcast service of choice. Uh, like, subscribe, and share all that stuff uh you can find our facebook group and join it you can follow us on twitter at nerds gone rogue and follow us on instagram at nerds gone rogue underscore official because instagram won't let us use nerds gone rogue even though it doesn't exist anywhere uh i think that's it you can also find us on monday nights around 8 30 p.m eastern time live and we are giving away a copy of mortal kombat 11 all you need to do is send your subscription of YouTube or your audio and tell us why you like our show. And we will pick a winner that Monday before the game comes out live on the show at 8.30. 
So uh, I want to thank everybody so much for watching, tuning in wherever you are, through your ears, through your eyes, and through your hearts. And until next time, we love you. Banana and out. talking about it because we have a playstation podcast devoted to it i'm not so, even yeah. sure that i'm not even sure they're gonna talk about it I, well I, I well sony didn't it. talk about it so why would they i looked at it i looked I think, at i think the apple arcade was more interesting than the state of play i i google searched to see if there was anything interesting all of every story i came up with had a picture of spelunky at the top so i'm sitting there thinking oh Spelunky, they have a release date for Spelunky 2. No, that was a giant tease. And uh, way to go, Sony. Sony, I love you, but you keep doing this shit. So, <laughs> so, Sony gave Matt some blue balls. Fucking right, they did. They gave me some blue mm. roguelike platforming balls. Some some dry humpage. <sighs> but see, at least, at least I could derive some enjoyment out of dry humping. That's true. I rushed home for it. <sighs> what, I know. Dry humping? Or not? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're <laughs> not humping? And Phillips is rushing home. He's rushing he's, home for he's penetration. Got, he's not he's, rushing home for dry humping. No, he's no. Got, he's, got a, he's got a body pillow now. Yeah. <laughs> you can put any face you want on that body yeah, pillow. Yeah, yeah. Just don't put Sean Layden's anymore. <laughs> oh, I still uh, like Sean. I didn't like rush home for it, but I was like, oh, maybe, you know, like, Maybe I'll Play, start it well, the, when I get home and see where it's at. And I got in, like, I watched it, and I was like, okay, some cool stuff. And then I'm like, I'll rewatch it. <laughs> Fucking 12 minutes of the video they put up is just the screen and waiting for it to start. And I'm like, why yeah. would you not cut this? What yeah. are you fucking doing? I know you want people to have it right away, but at least trim that shit off. I think it would have been received not, a lot better. That's not a hard cut to make. It's actually mm. pretty easy. Yeah. Like, I think I think it would have been received a lot better if they just put it up and said, hey, here's a new thing. It's called State of Play. Here's some upcoming stuff. But instead, they decided to hype it up and say, yeah, they, they, they well, said, we're doing it this day. Yeah. In you know, so comments, people like, kind of yeah. get, there's a certain expectation you have, right? Like, well, the, the one thing I brought up in the chat was like maybe this is sony testing the waters for this and they ju- they're trying to get feedback for when they kind of perfect it next gen you know what i mean well there's like, that and there's also it is the first time and yeah there's i mean if you remember nintendo, everyone's yeah. nervous their first time uh, well, i mean remember <laughs> remember nintendo's first direct was not overwhelmingly positive either so plus they're a month away from days gone mm-hmm. they're gonna have some, I mean, no you man's think the gameplay looked good for that. I thought it did, yeah. Did yeah. you? Uh, what's I different know. about it? I thought it was just like an over the shoulder third person action. I don't game. know. I, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still getting it day one. I'm still super excited for it. I don't know. I, that, that gameplay I thought kind of dampened my excitement. I don't know. I thought the weapons looked kind of lame, generic. Yeah, just well, I don't know. We'll see. Like post apocalyptic rusty guns. <laughs> No, 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 just the the way they looked in the game. Like, I have no problem with whatever the weapon is. Yeah, I just didn't I think mean, they looked great in the game. They did They did announce the, the release date for that, what was it, Blood and Trust VR? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. So, we at least got that. We got... Um, and I know you're getting Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Fuck yeah! Uh, no Man's <laughs> Sky VR, which will be a free update. Yeah. So... Which, that'll be something I'll do. Because and now it makes me want to platinum it, so you know, and I'll play it in first person, and maybe me, Jeff, and uh, 
Jason will roll. I want to go into hyperspace in VR so badly now. <laughs> like that's what I mean, what I it looks pretty cool, man. It's that's uh, what I want to do. I want to start. Yeah. I want to. I want to start over. I want to build my ship, and I want to go. It looks really like, cool. What I think. What I think they're missing is like little touches, like intend. Like obviously, Nintendo does it better because they've been doing it for a while now. But like, they're missing a touch. Like, here's an indie. Here's an indie, and I. I think like maybe once or twice a year on one of them, they need to be like, okay, it's available now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like launch it on a, on a Tuesday, but the state of play out on a Tuesday or Friday and say, here's the game as well. Like there's so many good indie games out there that are supposed to have a release date for this year. Well, not a release date. This is the year that, you know, it was like, Hey, this is when it's going to happen. Now, if it does, that's fine. If it doesn't, it's fine too. But yeah, yeah. yeah it was just a weird show. I mean, it was a, uh... Like the first thing I said to you guys was uh, like watching that show just made me feel like PS5 is coming out much sooner than <laughs> we anticipated. If that's what they're showing, I mean, they don't have any three well, this year, so we'll see what they do. Well, they might also like they might also save like their big announcements for Last of Us and Persona <coughs> for later state of play. Well, year. we know that they have a lot of good games in the works. I mean, it's not like I'm concerned for them it's it's just uh i don't even know what the point of the doing the show was i guess that could have been a ps blog update yeah i think I, well, obviously I feel, there, I feel like when this meeting should have been an email yeah well i also think it's gonna be like quarterly so they're gonna have three more so they'll have one It'd be cool if they did it what's the like xbox September. monthly uh it's it's like it's every it's like every four to six weeks ish Wait, Xbox? Yeah, the inside Xbox. More than PlayStation, apparently. And then, well, isn't Nintendo about the same four to six weeks? Uh, Yeah, it's a little bit longer than that. It's like every two two months. uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Nintendo does their direct, and then they do a separate one just for indies? They do do a normal direct, then they do an indie showcase, and then Pokemon usually has their own directs also. So the, do they do directs like for Smash or the other big titles? Yeah, they do sometimes. Yeah, right. yeah. A lot of the times they'll just have a direct, and like the focus of the direct will be the big game, but then they'll have other things in it too. Hey, so. we should be recording this. We are recording this. Uh, yeah, it is live. It is live, <laughs> but also this is all stuff we're not going to talk about on the show. So that's true. That's Cuphead true. on Switch is pretty big, though. Fucking I know. It, right? it is. I know we probably won't talk a lot. About They've Cuphead. sold three million copies already now, yeah. and it's not even on Switch yet. Yeah, it's just you know. All right, so uh, uh, what else? Sell like hotcakes on that game's hard as balls. Good. Yeah, get good. Uh, I can't get good. You saw me play in the division last night. You were fine last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll hop on and I'll be the judge of if you're good or bad. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm better at the division two than I was at one. Are you more careful with division two? Because I find oh, division I'm, I'm way more careful. Okay, because I find division two way harder than division one. Oh yeah, oh, the, it, division really, two is, is way harder. Like I, I'm, I'm mean, level uh I'm level twenty five now, yeah. and it's it's so I've got the White House fully upgraded, and yeah, all I'm, I have. I'm almost there. I'm at 28. All I have left is the um, the, the stronghold. There's three strongholds. Oh, just like um, them. So those are, uh, I think they start at level 26. So I'll probably, I might, that's the next thing I'll do is I'll match make into a, in that first stronghold. But I've done those missions way below level. So that's maybe that's why I'm finding them difficult. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty challenging. Yeah. I hate those damn heavily armored guys with the, the swing the sledgehammers. <laughs> those, are, I, those, those, are the, those are the only yellow guys I feel confident against. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, if everybody's attacking one piece of armor, it's fine. Oh no, I, I just I I those are the only guys. Yesterday, well, overnight, I fought, I did a few missions where a lot of them had those. And they would be the ones that I'd be like, okay, you I, to the random people, I was, I'd be like, you guys take the little guys. I'm going after the big guy, and I would just, I would literally Dark Souls him. 
where I would just once he pulls back, I dive back and listen. yeah, you have to dive back. And like once you bust off, I usually go for one of the arms. Like you bust off the arm around the arms, and then you can start damaging them. Yeah, I mean, but, I'm, uh, trying, I'm pretty trying, challenging. I'm trying to get that trophy where you take off every. Piece oh of yeah, I saw that one. That's real difficult. <laughs> I've gotten I, close. I looked it up. I think it's like three percent right now. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot. Well, there's a lot that are ultra rare, and I can't get the. I think the friend in need trophy is bugged for me. Which one is that? The one where you have to get called into someone's game and revive them. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I did that. I've done that a bunch every day since since it came out. Uh, what do you say we start? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I guess so. Apologies in advance if my baby starts crying. That's okay. I mean, we, we do what we got to do. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs>